Alright guys, I hope you're ready because uh, we're gonna run it this time. The first uh, no shit CNC running, running off uh, program that we actually drew in a CAD and then the cam and there we are. Uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, in the interest, uh, this is gonna be really loud. I'm gonna run the vacuum, and uh, obviously you can hear this thing behind me. My box here's got a fan that is like really loud. Uh, so I'm probably not gonna say anything and I might end up fast forwarding if I see that it takes too long Because there's also a lot of me raising and lowering the z-axis So I probably fast forward it and uh, maybe a few comments at the end uh, uh, To talk about how it went. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, let's give it a try people we have the first problem here I guess my speeds are a little too aggressive dang we really snapped it off uh, well I guess I have to go edit the code and uh, make it go a little slower or maybe take a shallower cut uh, I think slower is probably better I don't want to go through many of these uh, depths uh, but uh, Wow, alright, first snap meal on the first job. Well, live and learn. Alright, we take a break here and uh, we'll regroup. Well, I guess uh, it's a good thing that these end meals are double handed. So, we'll just stick it back in and we're good to go again. But uh, I will have to change the code, that's gonna take a little while. Uh, I have to edit the actual text. Uh, uh, should be about 10 minutes on the we should be back in business. Alright, uh, so we're pretty much back in business. That only took about 15 seconds. Uh, it's that text file I showed you earlier. All I had to do is just uh, uh, replace any feed speed of 30. I replaced it with 10 and uh, every speed that I had with 10 before I replaced it with 5. So everything should go a lot slower now. And uh, we run the code again and uh, see what we do this time. Uh, you know, for some reason it keeps losing the zero. Let, let, me, let me just do that again. Alright, so I reset the cutter back on the zero. I, I'm not really sure why the machine thought that the zero was out here. Uh, something, there's some more learning to be done there. But anyway, the cutter is in, it's tight. I uh, reset the z vertical zero, so we're good with that. And we found this position. All we need to do is run the machine and run the code. And uh, hopefully, this doesn't snap again. Bye. Right, here we Wow, obviously, I'm a little too aggressive with the death to cut, uh, and the end mills cannot take it. Uh, wow, uh, maybe I should use a bigger, bigger mill. Or obviously, I'm gonna have to re redo the code here, add a lot more step down uh, levels because uh, it's. Uh, it's a too big a cut to take with the with the quarter inch hand mill there. Dang. But on the other hand, focusing on the positive, it looks like the uh, code is working all right. The cuts are being done in the proper sequence, and uh, if it wasn't for the fact that the mill uh, snapped, uh, I wouldn't complain about it. So 
back to the drawing board. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> One and two. Well, and this is what it takes to learn, I suppose. Next cut we're gonna do is gonna be a little bit uh, shallower. Definitely not uh, not as deep as this one. Although it was only like uh, forty thousand, so I've taken I've taken a lot deeper cuts before, but it was with uh, much bigger mills. So that's uh, that's a learning lesson right there. So stay tuned. I'll go change the code, and there might be a few hours, and I'll be back, and we'll go continue on with this project. Thanks.